Hello all, welcome to Oratennis.com. In this session, we'll discuss about smart view reporting in Oracle application. So let's get into the agenda. The list of reporting technologies which are available and uh, FRC and uh, how do we install the smart view plugin and how do we configure a smart view to connect to Oracle application and a sample demo. So as we know that like uh, these are the couple of reporting technologies which are available. On high level, they are grouped into four categories, financial reporting, smart view and sunburst, OTBI, as well as BI publisher. And the financial reporting, nothing but the one FRS, as well as smart view, as well as sunburst, they are based on the GL balance queues. And the OTBI and BI publisher data, they are based on the transactional table data. Okay. Now, if you observe the report type, based on the icon also, you can observe here. For the smart view, the icon will be like this. And for the other one, you'll have a respective icon for the other diff different reporting technologies. And similar screenshot here, and uh, all of them like this, the seven reporting tools, which are again like uh, earlier I said four, now they're again subdivided if you observe. I ideally, there are total seven reporting tools which are based on the transactional data, or it can be a GL ledger balance cubes. Okay. Now, so there is a, a unified tool called Financial Reporting Web Studio using which, you know, like, um, we have all the financial reports which where we, we can access it. This major majorly this is for the purpose of accessing the financial reports. And financial reporting center. So now when you log into Fusion application, you can click on financial reporting center. Once you click on financial reporting center, it shows the list of financial reports wherein you can access. You can search it and you can simply access the, the respective report. And now how do we install? So before proceeding further. Here, we'll try to navigate to the financial reporting center and then we we'll discuss about the installation of that. So how do we navigate to the financial reporting center? Once you log into Fusion applications, you have to click on others and click on financial reporting center. And here, you can search any of the financial reporting report. So in our case, I'll just search a report called Smart View. And I have a report which I already uploaded called Smart View Demo 1, which is available in the Custom Fin GL folder. And you can observe the icon of this particular Smart View report. And if at all, if you want to open the Smart View, what we can do is click on Task List, click on Open Workspace for Financial Reports. So now here, if you observe, this is the workspace for the financial reports. Now, what we have to do is let us say if you have not installed Smart View at all, or if you don't have a Smart View plugin which is already available in the system, if you don't have a Smart View plugin which is available in your system, then what you have to do is you have to install it, right? So, from the financial reports, <coughs> click on Open Workspace for Financial Reports, click on Tools, and click on Install and then you click on smart view once you click on smart view it will navigate to the e-delivery i'll show you this a couple of the screenshots which are relevant for that so once you click on install smart view it will navigate to the oracle website and which shape which says oracle smart view for office you have to click on download then it will navigate to the e-delivery website of oracle and you require a login credentials of your respective e oracle account then select the appropriate version and then click on download. So it will download this particular exe file, a similar exe file, and click on that. Once you click on that, it will download another zip file, and now go to the location where your particular zip file got downloaded, and extract that, and in that zip file, you could find three files. So in our case, smartview24100 underscore readme html, smartview.exe, as well as version.xml, xml is there. So before clicking on this one, make sure that you close all your Microsoft application, nothing but MS Word, MS Excel, Outlook, and all those things. And then you install this particular software. You may choose the default folder, why the one which it suggests, or you can change it respectively. Double click on the smartview.exe, it will open this pop-up, and then it'll take a couple of minutes, and then it says Oracle SmartView, 64 bit for Office, setup completed successful. So this operation will install a plugin in Microsoft Excel. Once a plugin is installed successfully, then how do we connect to the your respective Fusion application from the Smart View? So now, once it is installed, you open the Excel, Microsoft Excel, and you should be able to see a plugin called Smart View. 
once you could see a smart view plugin it means that smart view plugin is installed successfully in your excel sheet and click on this particular smart view and then the first task what we have to do is we have to configure our smart view plugin for the respective application right now let us see the configuration information so click on smart view and click on options once you click on options you click on advanced properties in the advanced properties you have to change the shared connections url so the shared connections url what we have to do is it is like a your fusion applications url followed by workspace followed by smart view providers you have to provide you have to concatenate your fusion applications url followed by workspace smart view providers this full url you have to provide in the shared connections url once this is provided and our configuration of smart view for your fusion erp is almost ready okay once that is done what you have to do is you click on panel you click on panel and then it will open shared connections once you click on shared connection it will ask you to provide the login credentials for your fusion applications once you click on sign in then it will ask you to then it will ask you to mention which particular shared connections you want to connect you in our case we selected s base and from that it shows a list of options you select the respective chart of account for your ledger so i have selected us chart of account in that you simply expand us chart of account and don't expand db simply click on db and then once you click on db it will ask you to provide connect click on connect and then once the connection is completed it will ask you another option called add to private connections or other analysis like this you click on other analysis and that's it so once you click on other analysis it will generate this particular pov kind of dimension in the excel sheet and this is where we can configure our pov as well as pivot according to the requirement okay so this till this we have then we have discussed about how do we install a smart view and how do we configure it now we'll see the smart view demo also okay so i'll just go to the excel sheet so i'll start with the initial one so this is my demo which is already there but i'll just try to close this one and try to reopen my excel sheet so that we'll understand what all we have to mention while logging in so the first thing is i'll open excel sheet okay blank workbook and i'll save it as a best practice to always save our code whenever we design any of the technical component or any object okay smart view demo tool now so we have smart view plugin it means that a smart view is installed smart view plugin is installed successfully in our system and you can see the version hello about this one it says some version it's okay now click on option and click on advanced and check out what is the url it configured okay so why it is showing already because i already configured in my system and in the cache it has all that information if at all if you want to connect to a different system you have to change it else you can ignore it that's the first option you have to set up and then click on panel click on panel now you click on shared connection now it is asking the username password so i'll just mention the username password fa16 dot student and the password so it will take couple of seconds or minutes once the connection is set up once the login is done yeah. we have to wait for it time being i'll just navigate to the analytics also Yeah, so this is a place where we have provided our smart view report. You can try, I think better I'll try to close it. Let me restart the Microsoft Excel. Okay, 
smart view demo click on smart view click on panel click on shared connections okay now again same thing fas 16 dot student i think i have to copy the password there's a password okay perfect so now it got connected successfully now in the shared connection you go with the first option called oracle sbase once you click on oracle sbase it provides sbase cluster and here you have to select the relevant chart of account for your particular ledger so i'll go with us chart of account and expand this one and just click on db don't expand the db simply collect select db and now click on connect so once click on connect is successful it will show you click on add add ad hoc analysis ad hoc analysis it generated now whatever you see the left side there's a pivot and the above one whatever you see in the left side they are pivot and the above one are pivot so now what i want to do is i want to generate accounting information for a certain set of periods or years so what i want to do is now let's say i'll select this and i'll set it as pivot okay now it it came here right left side it came now i want to shift this accounting period into the top so i'll set, set it as pivot to pov now what happened now what happened this went to pov now what we want to do is let us say i will set this also as a pivot right now we have our accounting period available as a as a pivot the top so now why the value it is showing missing because we have not configured any of the pov so now let us configure the povs right so now i'll select accounting period and slim just click on member selection so in the member selection we are just mentioning for which year data i want the output right so i'll let us say i'll select the couple of years like 2019 to 19 20 21 like this a couple of years i'll select five years i selected and i'll simply click on okay now we got this particular years here and ledger click on ledger and click on member selection and here i'll select us ledger set and i'll go with us primary ledger And if at all, if you want to have account, right? So if at, what you can do is, let us say, if at all, if you want account information to be considered, what you can do is, you can click on POVs and you can change the values the values of them respectively. Once you click on this POV panel, automatically the, the row first was di disappeared, right? So we can also expand that. You can still see that. This is all for the purpose of selection of the values. So I'll click on account. can select an expand account let's say i want to see the data for revenues and expenses i want to see the data for revenues and expenses okay now i want to have this revenue and expenses at the pivot level so what i can do is i can just simply drag and drop so where we, this is our account so i can drag and drop account here here right so account came here now i can just simply refresh so it seems there is no expenses information and or you can see the member selection and if you want to expand further or if you want to change the account you can change it that also so as of now it seems like only expenses was moved and maybe that was not moved properly as it was selected only one record there so that's why it was not moved properly so now what i'll do is i'll expand this income net income one and i'll move the revenue account also and click on okay now we could see the revenue as well as expenses also here right and you can just click on refresh we should be able to see the data now but still it is showing missing because there are a couple of other elements we have not set it up configured properly so major thing is you have to always 
set the currency as well as ledger. So we have set the ledger, but currency was not set up. Currency, you have to select it. So then the Smith thing should go off and it has to print the value. Now we'll select currency here. You can just type USD and move it to the selection here and remove the existing one. Click on OK. And you can just refresh. Perfect. So this is how we can, you know, like a play around with a combination of POPs and P the pivot stuff. And based on that, you can understand, based on the requirement, you can play around and you can display the data. Okay. So this is all about one of the simple report in the smart view. And how do you upload? So it's just very simple. Just go to your analytics. And here, what you can do is you can just now select the folder here, select the GL folder. Now upload here, click on upload. Click on upload and now select the folder where you have your report. And this is our report which you have designed, Smart View Demo 2. And click on OK. The report will get uploaded. And you can search here. By default, it will not be available uh, the time when you load. It will take a couple of minutes or hours also to get displayed here. Okay, you have to have patience for that. So, this is all about a Smart View report in Oracle Fusion. Thank you.